for three minutes. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman Whitfield, uh, for holding this markup today. Uh, these new regulations addressed in, in this bill are emblematic, I think, of an administration that, that is seemingly unaware of the consequences of adopting, changing rules, standards, and regulations across America. Job creator after job creator has sat right there at those seats and have told us time and time again, overregulation is killing our economy in this country. Is anyone listening? Apparently not. The administration continues to green light the regulators. How's it working out? On Friday, it was announced that 92 million Americans are not in the workforce any longer. It said in December, for the job growth, for every job that was created, five more people dropped out of the workforce. What's even more troubling, the news has reported that one third of all the Americans have lived in poverty under this administration for at least two months. And 97% of all the jobs that have been created in the last year were part-time jobs. Part-time jobs. The income gap between the rich and the poor has expanded under this administration. This is not the American dream. Adding new regulation after new regulation are crippling America's economy. People can't find jobs. Excessive regulations cause job losses, shuttered plants, factories, increased utility bills, and less hope for families, their dreams. This is not fair. This isn't what we should be doing here. Our priority in Congress should be to create an environment where businesses want to expand and create jobs, not create an environment for larger and more intrusive government. We need to support the Whitfield Bill, get government off our backs. I yield back the balance of my time. Mr. McKinley, thank you very much.